obviously so much of our story is built on the hero's journey of overcoming obstacle. Mm -hmm. And yet everything in society today is telling us, you know, conflict's not okay. You know, challenge is not okay. We've got to be safe. We've got to be like prevented from having challenges. Whereas actually it's, it's challenge that enables the human spirit to grow and to overcome. <laughs> Rubin and joining me today is the Baroness at the UK House of Lords and the CEO of the Alliance for Responsible Citizenship, also known as ARC, Baroness Philippa Strahd. Welcome to the Rubin Report. Thank you so much, Dave. Really great to join you. Well, I'm very happy to have you because I will be joining you guys at the ARC conference in London in uh, about a week and a half or two weeks or so. Uh, and I thought we could just chat for a few minutes about what the conference is all about, sort of how this originally came from the, uh, I think I can say the great mind of Jordan Peterson, uh, what the genesis of all of this was and, and what the intentions are. So I, I'd love to talk to you about British politics, but I think we have to focus on that. Um, so can you talk about what ARC is? how Jordan got to you and, and where you want to go with this thing. Yeah, thanks, Dave. So ARC is really a movement of people who are basically saying that we've had enough of a declinist, permacrisis, polycrisis type way of thinking. We actually believe that there is a better story, a better way forward and a more hopeful narrative. And because we so believe in story, because it shapes who we are and it shapes our direction of travel as societies, that we actually want to come together to develop a better story for our society. But actually, when I think back to how it all started, um, I had invited Jordan to come and do a talk um, at the think tank that I led in London. And um, we had a fantastic time with him. The whole time we were focused on freedom of speech and higher education and how we restored freedom of speech and academic freedom back to our universities. And at the end of it, he went on his way, did a big tour around East, Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. And halfway through that tour, he rang me and he said, Philippa, everywhere I go, there are people, fantastic leaders, but they're so isolated and they're doing amazing work. What would happen if we brought them all together to do a conference in London? And I thought, great story. And at the end of it, he just said to me, Philippa, do you know this chap called Paul Marshall? And I said, yeah, great friend of mine. So I pinged an email and said, hey, Jordan, meet Paul. Paul, meet Jordan, you're gonna love each other. Next couple of days, Paul rings me and says, you know this conference that you and Jordan are doing? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, what conference? <laughs> anyway, it kind of just snowballed from there. And it, you know when um, like an idea's time has come, it just mm -hmm. has momentum behind it and people wanting to get on board and make it happen. That's what ARC has been like from beginning to end. I have to say, just on a personal note, as you know, I toured with Jordan in 2018 and 19, about 120 shows, I think 20 countries. And what you just described there of all these great people coming yeah. up to him after the show, political leaders, politician, yeah. uh, politicians, celebrities, thinkers, authors, Bob, everyone was like, we've got to do something. So I'm, I'm so thrilled for this thing. I really can't wait. But do you find it strange? You mentioned stories. And obviously that Jordan has been a great explainer of why stories are important. You can't just give people policy. Do you find yeah. it odd that the West, which has come up with so much great, you know, movie making and books and literature and, and all of the stuff that our culture is made of, we somehow didn't tell a story to defend ourselves? D does that seem, you, seem like a strange uh, dichotomy to you? Yeah, and it's like our stories got so fragmented. So one of the questions we're going to be asking at ARC is what can we draw from our history? What What is the narrative, the story that can unite us as we go forward? And we're asking like what story can be drawn from our liberal democratic history? And what story can be drawn from our Judeo-Christian history? Are there stories that actually can be foundational to who we are that can take us forward? And obviously so much of our story is built on the hero's journey of overcoming obstacle. Mm -hmm. And yet everything in society today is telling us, you know, conflict's not okay. You know, challenge is not okay. We've got to be safe. We've got to be like prevented from having challenges. Whereas actually it's, it's challenge that enables the human spirit to grow and to overcome. So there are lots of different themes like this that we're going to be exploring at ARC as well.
Right. And the conference is, it's four days, if I'm not mistaken. Is it four full days? Yeah, it starts on Sunday, the 29th, and then it's going through the 30th, 31st and 1st of November. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in London. So exciting. Great. So we're, we're going we're gonna to link to it down below because obviously portions of it at least are still are open to the public and we want people to be there and, and yep. all of that. Um, what, uh, what other types, is it fair to call it sort of a counter to the World Economic Forum, sort of a bottom up way of looking at the world as opposed to a top down version of looking at the world? Yeah, so it is um, a gathering of leaders um, at, in London, but it's also really profoundly built around the principle of subsidiarity. So what am I responsible for as an individual? What is my family responsible for? What is my community responsible for? And then what is my nation responsible for? So, so instead of hiding away um, somewhere and coming up with these big decisions, then imposing them on society and pushing them down, it's very much coming up from the principle of responsibility at every level, including including the individual. And then on the on the night of the 1st of November, Jordan's throwing open the doors at Arc at the O2, huge place where anyone can book a ticket. Um, it takes 20,000 people, Arc, and it's literally open to anyone who can get a ticket. They're going very fast if they haven't already gone. Right. And, and what are some of the like categories that you're going to be talking about? So I think people understand sort of broadly what you're talking about, but this is going to be about science. It's going to be about tech, media, et cetera, right? Like there's, it's going to be sort of across all disciplines. Yeah. So the, the big question we're asking is what is the better story? But within that too, it's like, what is the better story for, for family and the social fabric? What is the better story for business? What is the better story for energy and the environment? So it's asking right across the board, all these like, what is the better story in all of these different aspects of life? There's so much that we want to platform that um, I think it's going to take years two, three, four to, to platform it all. But there's, there's, um, uh, it, it's all going to be framed around that lens of the better story. And is the plan then, I, I assume so, but I, that the plan will be, okay, we're going to come up with sort of specific stories that can lead us to policies, and then we're going to yeah. find the people that might be in the House of Lords or in the United States Congress or elsewhere, and we're going to try to implement some of this stuff. Absolutely. And what's really exciting, uh, too, is that we've got um, at least half the, sh half the shadow cabinet from Australia coming. Three ex-Australian prime ministers are coming. We've got two congressional delegations coming from, from the US. We've got over 100 different MPs from different uh, parts of the world coming. So we have some people of real influence, but we also have 200 business leaders, uh, 200 um, another 200 kind of uh, ideas and influences as well. So, I mean, it's going to be a very rich, rich audience. Do you think there's anyone in the world that could have pulled something like this off other, other than Jordan? Like when I first heard about this, I was like, oh, this is what Jordan was supposed to do. It, it just seems so obvious to me in a way. I mean, he's a remarkable, well, you know this, he's a remarkable individual. And um, I love working with him. I think he, he's an extraordinary man. But what's been really great in the art conference is the ability to gather other like-minded, extraordinary people too. We've got over 90 speakers um, who are going to be platformed, people wanting to come and be on the stage and, and contribute. And I think, um, you know, this sort of change, Jordan would be the first person to say, it, it can't be through one person. It has to be through a movement of people. But, oh my word, he's been the most extraordinary catalyst. Does it also feel to you that the timing is kind of right, not just because of what's been happening in the world for the last couple of years, obviously, but really even the events of the last 10 days or so really have the West feeling very shaken. I mean, I'm seeing the obviously the protests that are happening in London, but they're happening here in, in New York City and other places here as well. Yeah, I, I would... I would really agree with you, Dave. I think um, one of the questions that we're asking is, where did we lose our confidence and how did we lose our values in the West? And would these events be happening if we had more confidence in who we are as people, more confidence in our values? And um, I think we've got you know fantastic historians like Neil Ferguson who are going to be joining us mm -hmm. Um, we're hoping that we will have some extraordinary spokespeople, even from Israel, who are able to uh, join us that aren't announced yet, and obviously, for obvious reasons, uh, may not be able to join us. But I think um, mm -hmm. I think this is a moment for us to really 
ask ourselves some difficult questions and say, actually, we've got to strengthen ourselves. We've got to have more courage. We've got to have um, a better story to tell. I think actually we should leave it there so that people will hear a small bite. And then of course we're gonna be recording everything and there'll be all sorts of videos that'll get out. I'm, I'm gonna to try to do some interviews on the ground. Even, even if I gotta do it from an iPhone, we'll, we'll chat with everybody there. And uh, I just wanna thank you for putting this together and working with Jordan on this. Links to the tickets to the, uh, or link to the tickets to the O2 event are right below. Do you, do you have any final thoughts before I let you go? No, just can't wait to welcome you to London, Dave, as well. I can't wait. Thank you so much. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop screaming, check out our politics playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.